sell it. Where is everybody? Everyone was here. My father and my t my sisters. Where are they? Where's everyone? Sorry, I lied. Why? It was Duncan's wish. He made me promise on his deathbed not to allow his body go cold in the morgue. He wished to be buried quietly and quickly. Oh. Poor boy. I'm sure wherever his mother is, she should be really sad right now. Allow me pay him my last... No! You don't have to. Charlotte, you will not stop me from paying my last respect to him! He was my brother as much as he was yours! His mother is really sad right now. Hey! Make sure you don't bury her with those ugly umbrellas she calls lashes. Pull them off! Now! So, should I go back to my stories, huh? So, the monkey child has been naughty. Come back Good evening, Chief. Come back here! Where are you coming from? I went to see a friend. You went to see a friend? Or you went out to see that good-for-nothing boy? I don't understand, Chief. He's my friend. And I went to see him. I don't see anything wrong with that. Besides, he hasn't done anything to me, nor you. Oh, really? Yes. So you've grown to talk back at me. I'm not talking back at you. I'm just telling you the obvious. I'm, I'm matured. And I have right to choose my friends. Mm. Charlotte, is it that you're talking to like that? Or have you now grown overnight? Stay now talk to daddy like this? This is okay. Please, can I go back to my room? She has forgotten what I am capable of. Can I go into my room? Excuse me. Charlotte, I said I'm not done talking. What, what else do you want to hear? Excuse me. Are you shaking the head? 
Have I not warned you never to go and see that idiot again? I am an adult. I am old enough to make my decisions, choose my friends. Come on, Dad. Stop this, I'm not a child. Charlotte? What? What have I done? What? Can I go into my room now? Excuse me. Did you see that? I saw it, Daddy. But trust me, you are the one person in this thing. Let's just imagine how she disrespected you in front of me. Anyway, you know that Mia, I will not talk to you like this. I think you need to cut her wings. That you need to cut her wings. Hmm. It's okay, let's go back to our school. We need a Spoil the suit. So? No, I have so. Charlotte, what is this disgusting thing I am hearing? Stay away from that boy. What does he have to offer you that chief cannot give to you? Happiness. Peace of mind. Love. Care. Want. Everything good. Even in chief's next life, he would never ever be able to give that to me. I am stuck with him in that time period. Are you not being selfish? Or have you forgotten that Chief gave us all we ever wanted? <laughs> and we owe him our little gratitude. What gratitude, Mom? What are you talking about? Can you even hear yourself speak? Are you supposed to be a mother? Right from the beginning, you have been doing this to me. You've been pushing me. You've been, you've been, you've been using me as your tool. I'm literally tired. What's wrong with you? Mom, all you've, all you've ever wanted is what? What you would get. How are you going to gain it? How your palms will be so greased. That is what you've ever cared about. You don't even care about your daughter. From childhood, I've been so hardworking. I have I had a vision. I, I, I had where I was headed. You would have allowed me. If you had allowed me to get to where I was going, by now I would have been able to give you a good life. But no, you pushed me to a man that that that, that literally divorced me morning, afternoon, night, and you're so comfortable with that. What am I going to deserve this from a mother like you? What? Again, we've been through this over the years. Listen to me. I am your mother, and I have the right to tell you what to do. No, you don't. That was then. You can't control my life anymore. I cannot continue to be a footstool, no? Never ever! Never ever! Do you understand? What is wrong with you? You're just being unnecessarily selfish! Listen, and listen attentively. Submit yourself to chief and forget about all these good for nothing boys. And this should be the last time you meet up with that boy. Have I made myself clear? No, you have not. Like I told you, mom, I am done being your first child. <laughs> I heard you are the stubborn fly that refuses to fly away. 
good day, ma. Keep your stupid critics to yourself. I want you to completely stay away from my daughter. Ma, your daughter and I will love each other. I don't mean any harm. I have not come here to banter words with you. That stupid love must stop. You are blocking my daughter's future. And I won't be nice next time I see you. Stupid. Young man, I called you here so you know how important it is to me that you leave my daughter alone. Dad? But sir... Are you are not allowed to speak until I say so. Huh? My daughter Charlotte is very dear to me and I will not allow you to come an inch close to her. Honestly, Dad, if I knew this was the reason you asked me to bring my man, then I wouldn't have brought him here. I mean, why would you speak to him that way? Excuse you, young lady. You do not have any right whatsoever to interrupt my father amid speech. So shut up. And who is this insane entity? Oh, you shut up. So you are the one who is. Talking you. Are you were talking, talking, talking to my you. father. Are you crazy? Are you, are you crazy? crazy? What's wrong with you? Will you sit down? You say mad or something? Are you, are you crazy? crazy? Are you raving crazy? Sit. Father. It's okay. Sit down. This is sad and Oh, shut up! You are insane sad and sick. That's down. what you are. Sit down. Please, Dad. Stop it already. Stop it. Man, for the last time, this is the last time I will see you come close to me. I will take that. God. I, I, I will not take that. That's it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, my God. Stop it. Stop it. You made this up, didn't you? Listen to me. The love that I have for you is immeasurable. Why don't you open your eyes and see things with me? I can't do this with you, Nikki. Oh, please stop whining already. Come back here. Hey, look at this shit! Get out! My father said get out! 
is my man. Get and out of this that place right now. Get out. Hey. 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 What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Get out. 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 Go, 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 go already. Go already, you idiot. You will ever disrespect me. What was that on my man's sleeve? If you don't keep quiet now, you will not like what I Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Why you throw yourself so cheaply on a man? Shut up. Oh, your God! Stephen, please. Listen, I am begging you. No. Don't say that. Don't say that, my love. I love you. Listen. If you want to switch to video call, feel free to do so. You will see that I am on my knees. I cannot bring myself to loving another man but you. I cannot even bring myself to being in a relationship with someone else. It is you that my heart yearns for. Please, Stephen, give me a chance in your life. Listen, I will give you the world. You know that, Stephen, please, I'm begging you. I love you. I love you so much. You love who? Look at how you're fooling yourself. Hello? Nikki. Hello? Yes, please, leave her alone so that my father will not die, please. Okay, I'll, you stop I'll dramatizing. call you back. Just stop I'll dramatizing. Pass. I know you're ready. I'll call you back. I know who you are. What's that? Nikki, what is wrong with you? No, what is wrong with you? No, no, what is wrong with you? This man belongs to me. He's my man. It's quite obvious. I don't know. There are lots of men in the world. Besides, your father has a lot of rich clients. He has managers. He has rich friends. Can't you just get acquainted with him? With one person, I leave my man alone. Oh, who says that I am after you, man? Who says? Then why are you crying? Me? Begging him? I, I caught you. I am begging him because I don't know how else to talk to you. To listen, my father has begged you and cried and said so many things and told you to leave him alone. But you wouldn't. You are a pleasant lawyer. I am not a... I caught you here. Yeah, you were begging him to leave you. you. Leave you alone. Oh, goodness, you, your lies could kill somebody. Please give me a break. No, there's no break for you. He needs to leave you. I don't want my father to die. I don't want my Listen, I am not ready to lose my father. That is why I'm begging him. Okay, fine. Are you done with your drama? I want you to know something. You see that man there? He loves me so much. There is no space for you there. You're just fooling yourself around trying to, you know, get close to him. Stop all this pretense. Look for yours. He is taking. I don't even know what you... I think I need to call him right back. Call him up on a loudspeaker. Let's see what happens. And stop. Just just stop making... A noise. loud speaker? Stephen. I like said I'm loud speaker, saying, please. She is not even making a call. Alone. Leave She is not making a call. I don't want my father to die. She is not making a call. Leave my father alone. What is wrong you with you? You are not making a call. Oh, please give me a break. I would not give you a break. I will break for you. Leave my man alone. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Let's toast for a successful execution. <laughs> you did well last night, eh? <laughs> you know, she had nowhere to run to. <laughs> if she had left the room, I was so aroused. I don't know what would have happened. It would have been so chaotic. <laughs> Trust me on that, Chief. I see. I know my daughter. I knew she was still proof stubborn. And that's why I had to take the room keys and lock it from the outside. You're a smooth <laughs> criminal. <laughs> well, I don't know what is wrong with her. Right? I thought by now she would have gotten used to it. But each time I come close to her, she keeps fighting me. I don't know what's the problem. I, uh, for real, I don't know. Don't just focus on that, Chief. Right. You will soon conquer her. Hmm. Yes. I see. <laughs> 
<laughs> Chief, mm. I thought you promised me something if I had to help you on this. I got her. Money, money, money. <laughs> That's the only language you understand. What am I living for if not for money? Well, um, it's not your problem, huh? When we go upstairs, I will do some transfer. <laughs> Sweetheart. Yes. Make it four million. Easiest thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Take a seat. <laughs> Anything for you, Chief? Yeah, nothing. I know you already know my demand. Popular demand. I will be doing that for you. <laughs> Trust me on that. <laughs> it's good for the heart. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful wine. My favorite. You dare come into my house after the warning given to you by my husband. Why have you chosen to be mulish? By the way, who opened the gate for you? I'm sorry, my light to the gate, man, that I have an appointment with Chief. What impertinence! You put up a light just to intrude in my home? I'm really sorry, ma. Ma, I love your daughter so much. I just need a chance to prove that. I really do. To prove what exactly? Your incompetency, your wretchedness, or inability to make money. Now, leave my house before I call the cops on you. Have you seen the mess you have created? Because of your worthless daughter, our house has become a place of visits by meat sweets. Do not insult me. You will experience worse than this if you do not take this thing out of my father's house. Mirabel, please help me talk to your father. Get out. Leave this place. Will you leave here? I don't blame you, woman. I blame my father. You are a disgrace. Until it gets you home, if you'll ever marry. No sense. I'm so sorry for what happened the other day in the house and how she spoke to you and everything. It really got me so worried. So hey, sorry. Hey, look at me. There's nothing on earth that will make me leave you. Not in this lifetime. And I promise I will cherish you with every fiber in my body. Then let's run away. Maybe let's just run away. That house is a trap. I don't have my freedom. I can't do anything. I just want to leave that place. Let's just run away together, you and I. Maybe we need a, our space, honey. It's a good idea. Yes. But take a look at me. Look at me. I'm still struggling financially. At least I should be able to take care of you. I should be capable of taking care of my woman as a man. I've made plans, okay? And before you know it, everything will fall in place. Just hang in there for me, okay? It's okay, baby. Now you better keep that smile coming. <laughs> yeah, of course. I really have to go back to work now before my manager comes. Babe, there's, there's really no need for that. Just be here with me. No, you don't have any customer yet. Besides, I don't want to go back to that house. I'm going to be here with you. <laughs> Yeah, but I have to tidy him up. To I know, baby. No one is coming. No one is even here. Your mother wouldn't know. Mm. Mm. Okay. I pray no one comes. <laughs> yes, because I want your attention. I want your... You know. Can I ask you a question? Why not? What, what is it? Um, I, I don't want you to take this the wrong way. I... And I also want you to be honest with me. 
Of course, babes. I've always told you the truth. Let's go ahead and I'll answer you. Apart from the fact that Chief is not your biological father, is there any other thing I need to know about you two? I don't understand, babes. Well, I don't... I'm confused. Why is yeah, that? Like, um, <clears throat> like I said, don't take this the wrong way. Um, is there anything going on between you two? Excuse you? What sort of annoying question is that? Why would you ask me such question? Babe, I said don't take Babe, what? I won't sit down here and listen to this. Excuse me. Baby, don't take this the wrong way. I'm just confused. Like, he's so all up in your business. Babe, come on now. Babe! Sometimes I wonder why certain people will bump into someone else's home. Sit down, relax, and act as though it is theirs. Hmm. Tell me about it. To the extent they are even eaten, without caring to know if the has owners have eaten or not. Well, I do not blame such people because where they are coming from, there is no food in abundance and good life as this one. So whenever they get the opportunity, they tend to shove it down their throat immediately. <laughs> do you know what annoys me the most? Yeah. Is that she is trying to steal that is attention from us. From me especially. All daddy says now is Charlotte this, Charlotte that, Charlotte every single day. It's all about her. Now you listen to me. The three of you. Shh. We will not stop until you learn to keep your distance and let go of things that are not originally yours. Shut up. God, God, God. Oh my goodness. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Have we suddenly appeared to be clowns before you? Obviously, huh? you're a serious clown. Although you're very, very funny. Yes. Look at you. What do you think of yourself? Your house, your this, your that. You think I'm happy here? You think I'm happy to be in this godforsaken house? If my plans had worked out, I wouldn't be here. But trust me, I'm working on something. Right? So it is not your place to tell me when to leave this house and when not to leave. Just look at you. Look at the three of you. Three spoiled brats of a spoiled father. What? You heard me right. You heard me. And you, Nikki, aren't you supposed to be the first daughter? Don't you think it's high time you stopped this nonsense, always constituting nuisance up and down? You won't bring your sister together in one piece. Always looking for issues where there is none. Aren't you supposed to be married? I'm not supposed to be in your husband's house. Aren't you due for marriage? You're here in your father's house always looking for who to, to call names. Listen, let me tell you, I don't have time for nitwits like you. Always throwing herself at a man who obviously doesn't want her. Just look at you. And you, Mirabel, aren't you supposed to be abroad by now, forging your education? Your father has lamented on this so many times, but you wouldn't listen to the old man. You're just here. Ran down to Nigeria and then has been following your sister up like a lost puppy. You're doing well. And to the almighty last daughter, who is quite mischievous. Shh! Shut it. Hmm. Now you, despite being the last daughter, always trying to play the victim 
but you're so mischievous. Just like your two sisters. You're worse than a snake, if you must know. Sister, did you hear? Did you hear what she just said to and me? Listen, girls, just pay attention. The truth is, well, I don't have time for you people who go about looking for issues when there is none. But I want to let you know something. I am planning on leaving this freaking house that you're always talking about, my father's house, not even yours. You should be working hard to make your money and then be proud of it, not sitting on your father's money, being unnecessarily dramatic. Well, I have a plan of leaving this house, like I said. But just before that plan matures, you three have to endure seeing this beautiful face of mine always. Always. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Jobless people. Those ill mannered girls are making that house a living hell for me, babe. I don't just know, I don't just know. If not for the fact that I'm a strong person, I would have run out of that house a long time ago. I don't know what to do, honestly. What about your father? I mean, yeah. Chief. He's your stepfather, right? That devil? I... Have you tried to talk him? into putting a leash on his daughters. He's the last person to even talk to. I'd rather fix my thing alone than get him involved. Please. What's his deal, though? Babes, can we not talk about that man? Please. See, that's the problem. Every time I talk about him, your attitude just changes. Like, doesn't he treat you right? What's going on? Baby, I do not want to talk about anything that concerns that man. <gasps> This is the only place I come and find solace. You're my happiness, my peace of mind. I don't ever get it in that house, and when I say my mind, I, they will want to eat me up. I don't have, a, I don't, I don't have my freedom in that place. I'm just tired. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm exhausted. The whole thing is. Babe, it's okay. Just stop talking about that man. I don't want it. I'm sorry. You remind me of my sorrows. <sighs> I didn't mean to make you sad. I'm sorry, okay? Thank you. Come here. That reminds me. Your mother approached me and asked me to stay away from you. What? My mother did. And what did you tell her? Of course, I told her the obvious. Which is? I told her that you and I are bound together. And I'm never going to leave you. And you know I mean that, right? Yeah. I mean. I love you too. Baby. <laughs> And what are you doing here? I'm very well, thank you for asking. I didn't ask. I know, but I forgive you. I forgive you for treating me the way you do. You're treating me this way because of a girl you met through me. What exactly do you want from her? Look Listen, that girl is nothing but a gold digger who has nothing to offer you. Come on. As you can see, I'm busy. Busy? 
You can be too busy for me. Listen, that girl is nothing but a gold digger and has nothing to offer you. We have a very bright future. Brighter than this light in your store. Why do you want to ruin it before it begins? Take a look at yourself. You're beautiful. Of course I am. Right? Mm -hmm. Curvy in the right places. Well endowed. Now every man out there will give their left hand to be with you. But I want you to know that I'm not that man. Alright? You have nothing that I want. Now I will, don't want you to bring up this topic again. Do you understand? Now if you'll excuse me, I'd like to go back to what I was doing. Can you please leave? Look at how beautiful you are. Like a midnight snack. A sumptuous meal waiting to be consumed. Chief, I'm tired. I'm tired of this whole thing. I am literally tired. I can't even sleep well without you disturbing me so much. <laughs> this harassment is too much for me to bear. It is. And what are you going to do about it? Nothing. Listen, whether you like it or not, I own you. So, you do whatever I ask you to do. There's nothing that will make you slip out of my hands. So you better lay low. I need you to know something. I have someone I love. Someone my heart yearns for. And very soon, pretty soon, he would come take me out of this prison you call a house. <laughs> Is it that little idiot that you do go to see? So, you have forgotten what happened to you first. How are you? Well, if you don't want what happened to the first to happen to this one, you better do as I say, without any force. I will waiting for you in my room. <laughs> wow. Well, so soon, waiting for you. Yes, I beg, guy. Come. I know we like this for you. 
But this will be the first time where they collect this thing from me. Uh, give me this one. This are not this thing. Give me a. A give me a. Uh, good afternoon, man. Yes. The money is five. Five what? Five two. Five thousand naira. Yes, it is. Yes, give me your details. I will send you twenty thousand naira right away. That's because I do not want to hear any more noise from you. Oh, oh. Okay, I count number. Two two five. Seven zero nine. Four one two. Okay, so that's it. Done. Boy? You know that wasn't necessary, right? Like you didn't have to. Where is that coming from? Come on, you should be grateful. Grateful for what exactly? Really? For what? Oh. I see you visited. I visited. And what's that? You visited actually. Because he is my man. I own him. You see, what I don't get is who put ideas in your head that I am here to grant a word and to fight over a man with you. <laughs> and what's that? Why are you fooling yourself? Oh, I see. That explains why you had to pay the guy. Constantly visiting my man who obviously does not want you. Can't you just respect yourself and stay put? Behave like a woman for once. What is this? Listen, 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 listen. You have no right absolutely to speak to me in this tone. Man! Do you understand? Who the hell do you think you are? Have you lost your sense of time? And who will speak to you? Who are you that I cannot talk to? You're nothing but a headless chicken. Leave my man the fuck alone. I don't know what's wrong with you. You keep coming here every now and then, running after a man who obviously does not want you. What's that? Exactly. What is that? Huh? I should be scared of you. Okay. Cinnamon <laughs> green. You. You meet me. At home, and I promise you all this is I will fix you. You fix who? You should fix yourself first. And who is scared of you? And who is scared of you? Just get out. Why are you throwing yourself on a man who do doesn't want you? Baby, it's okay. You, I'm angry with you. Why didn't you chase her away? Mm. No, next time she comes here, you use something and chase her away. That won't be necessary. You know, it's very necessary. Well, I'm sure she gets the message now. No, oh, you were scared to give the message. Are you scared of that? I'm just, uh, I don't like it. Sorry. You're my property. Sorry, babe. <laughs> it's a property. Sounds you are my house. Am I a house? <laughs> okay, give me, give me a bottle of water. I'm testy. Sit down. Make yourself comfortable. Yeah. Okay, anyway. I would, I would, I would um, to my, my pedicure. Hi. Okay, um. I want to fix my legs. What? Oh, baby, the water. Yes, they'll, they'll get it. Please, water. Thank you. Why is she running like that? Get me a glass of water to drink, please. Well, you're not the one I asked to get me a glass of water to drink. As what? As your slave? 
Please, before they will now say I have insulted an elder. What is wrong with your leg? Are you crippled? Do you have any injury on your leg? Why don't you go get the glass of water yourself? And she talking to me that way. And why can't she speak to you like that? You just call me in. Why didn't you get the water before coming to sit your own wretched ass down? I wonder. Or better still, call your daughter to get you a glass of water. Please! This is my father's house. I do not want anybody stressing me around. Anyway, I do not blame the two of you. Yes. But don't worry. When my husband, my soulmate, my heart straw, my womb, my everything, when he comes back, I will make sure he has. And what do you think he will do about that? Absolutely nothing. We are his daughters. And you, you are just a new wife he hardly pays attention to. So don't even bother. Thank you. Where you are. I've been searching for you everywhere. And why are you searching for me? Let's go upstairs. And do what? What do you mean why am I searching for you? You are dodging from your duty tactically. What duty, please? Can I concentrate? I said, stand up, let's go! I am don't, not going anywhere. Let me shout I this am. Past me. Why are you screaming? I'm studying online. Let me go. Let me go. You're busy with your phone. Yes, I should be busy with my phone. Please. Uh, what's going on? Uh, are you awake? I hope you're right. What are you still doing up? I should be asking you. What? What's going on? Why are you up? I came to look for my charger. Oh, your charger? Oh, it's okay. Fine. I hope you're right. Yes, I'm right. Okay. Uh, what is everybody? <laughs> oh, oh, yes. oh, sometimes you always care. It's I've always wanted you to take care of things like this. Daddy, can I stay with you? I don't want to go inside. I'll just stay with you for a while before going back to bed. Daddy's girl. Stay with daddy. In fact, keep daddy busy. Good night, darling. Oh. <laughs> so, this is well. Yeah. Oh, you see? I told you. Well, then what were you doing? I was oh, just yeah. watching my favorite program, you know, and uh, somehow she was busy with her phone. I was telling her to go to bed.
I can no longer swallow your distasteful pills. It is making me rise to fever pitch. Look at how beautiful I've made you become. Yet you don't want me to enjoy the fruit of my life. I am tired. I am literally tired. How many years of my life have I given to you? All my life it's been you. It's been you, you, you and you. I am tired. Just give me a break. A break. I will never let you from my side. You are mine. Mine forever. Listen to me. This is how it's supposed to be. I give my orders and you obey me. We have a smooth relationship that way. Hey, hey, don't, don't fuck. What the hell? Stop. I give orders. You obey me. Stop it. You already know my story. If you disobey me, I will crush you. Stop it now. Hey. The order is obey. And I said, stop it now. This is almost Hello, who is here? I need to do my pedicure and my manicure. Good day, Ma. So good to see you. Welcome to ANT Blissful Unisex Salon, Ma. How may we help you? You? Ma? Excuse me. I don't know what to do at all. Rubbish. Ma, our services are top notch. That one. 
فقط بگذار. با وقتی شما می‌تونید. چی پدر می‌دونی Oh, I'm feeling very nauseous. Could you be nauseous? I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. Wait, what are you thinking? I hope you're not pregnant again. And whose fault is it? Whose fault is it? Mine or yours? Go tell me that nonsense! My pregnant again, I've been sleeping with myself. When last did you see your period? I don't know, I, don't know. I think it's over two months. <laughs> oh, my oh my god. Oh my god. What kind of is this? Oh! When they get to realize that the stepfather is always forcing himself on the stepdaughter. Same thing! Excuse me. Cut! Such an ungrateful girl. Hey! I am finished. I am finished. Oh. I hope that's no problem. Yes, that is no problem. It's just a minor issue. So I was just asking. I hope that she washed her hands properly before returning to this table because we do not want to eat with someone who has her hands full with vomit. Just as your mouth is camouflaged with puke, your shallow mind be clouded. And of course, your sense of reasoning veiled with denseness. Better watch it, you primitive swine. And you just spoke. I just spoke. Sin in that dirtiness. Sin in that hole filled with dirtiness you call a mouth would do you a lot of good, you ancient ape. Oh! <laughs> Could you please Shut stop up. it? Need I remind you that your presence in this house is as a spirit. Oh, shut up! It's enough, enough! Enough of that! Enough! Eat! Chief! <laughs> Chief! Chief! I said it's okay. Better control it's okay. this. It's okay. What will I describe them? It's okay. Let them go and marry and leave us alone. I do not. As a matter of fact, Father, we do not wish to dine with that swine again. And her mother too. Leave. What are you waiting for? You stole my our father from us. So leave. Excuse me, show me some respect. Chief, are you a weakling? It's okay. That's enough. Now that the swine is gone, let us return to eating. One is still left. Chief, I, I, I will no longer take this. Enough of this. I cannot 
Tell I will not take this from your okay. ill mannered children. It's okay, Beta. This is too much. It's okay. You've done this before me. Eat. How is it possible? Have I not warned you to always take your pills each time we meet? Why are you pregnant? Ah, Chief. Chief, Chief, Chief. And what sort of question is that? Why am I pregnant? You devour me every now and then, even when I don't want. You're opening your mouth to ask me why am I pregnant? I should keep taking pills. I should keep killing myself, de destroying my womb. Is that what you want? I don't know. Chief, Chief, Chief. Please calm down. Yeah? We're not even sure you. If she is pregnant. But I am pregnant. Don't, don't give me that log of I am excuse. so pregnant and I'm having this baby. What is what is wrong with you? What have I ever done to you? This was how you took my first child away. I have not seen my child up until now. You keep making me have series of abortions. What do you take me for? Would you do this to your child? Would you? The truth is, I have had enough of this. I am having the sworn. I would never have any abortion for you again. Did you hear that? I mean every word of it. So what long of excuses are you giving me? What else will make a woman luscious and weak, if not pregnancy? I have seen that you and your daughter are about to ruin my reputation. You know that's, that? That's all you ever care about. Your reputation, your reputation, your reputation. You don't care about what you, the damages you cost me. You have to know this. You see this one? I am so having it. And that's on period. Find a way to fix this. Or I'll fix it myself. Gee, please, I'm sorry. Eh? I'm sorry. We're going to take care of it. You see what you have cost? You see what you have cost? Listen, now. listen. If anybody should talk to me, not if you're not worthy to talk to me. You're not worth being a mother. What you are you not mean? anything close to being a mother. You, be, you are my problem. See, let me tell you. You're my problem. I have always told you to protect yourself every time you have a section with Chief. Yet you will not love Please, you just keep quiet. Keep quiet. When mothers talk, you open your mouth and talk. You people should come and drag me to the hospital and, and I have another abortion. I swear with my life, I will take you to the media. Is that what you have to say? Rubbish. Is that what you have to Please. say? Please, shut my door. Mama, whoa, 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 whoa. Eh? Fuck the one. You're a woman like me and I'll do the same. I, let, yes, let's know who is stronger. Are you I, will, I swear to God, mommy, what? you will not like what I'll do to you. I will pull, I will... Don't, don't try you. you. Don't try you. I'm hearing voices. Mm. We're trying to sort things out. Sort yourself out. See, let me tell you. You will never make me lose favor in his sight. I love you. In my next world, I would never have a mother like you. You. I would never ever, I would not, I crushed the day you, you conceived me. Please, please shut my door. Stand up, we're leaving to that place right now. Leaving to where exactly? Do I need to root you? I said we're going there right and now. And I said I'm not going. What is wrong with you? What do you, what do you, what do you take me for? I'm not going. I need mean, the you want me to have before you stop this. Stop it. Stop it. I have warned you to be mindful of how you talk back at me, but you won't listen. Are you stupid? Are you sick in the head? Daddy? Uh, uh, what was this? I mean, she just fell and... Uh, I mean, uh, it's fine. Just go. Just uh, I toss this lily bear or make it. Um, no, no. I mean, I mean, I will take care of the of the situation. Uh, aren't you busy, yo? Oh, okay. it, it, it better stand up right now. Stand up right now.
Hello, handsome. Look, this is not the time, all right? What is it? What's the problem with you? You don't look happy at all. Is there something that I can help you do? Are you looking for your lost girlfriend? <laughs> Did anything happen to her? When I told you that she was of no good, what did you do? You pushed me away. Not look at the result, just look at the outcome. Do you like it? What outcome are you talking about? What happened to her? <laughs> oh, you, my darling, are such a sweet boy. Ah. Please, what's going on? Listen. You see, shut up. And I am pretty sure it is not for you. What are you saying? What do you mean she got pregnant? What are you saying? I don't understand. Right now, she is at the hospital battling with her life because she has lost so much blood from the abortion that she tried to do. Quite a pity. Do you have tissue, please? Oh, never mind. Listen, Miss Tillon. I am my father's first child. And he's Harris. You and I happen to spend a lifetime together. Who do you think will get to benefit from all of the wealth? Think about it. So what do you say? So what do you say? It's all right. I'll fix it. You and I were right on a conversation before. <clears throat> we're done here. Yeah. There's this thing I've been thinking about, and I think I should run it by you. Mm, tell me about it. Babe. You know I don't have money. And you, on the other hand, you do not have enough. You only survive on the stipends your mom gives you from time to time. Yeah, so where, where exactly are you headed? I know that. What about it? I am thinking of pretending to agree to Nikki's advances. What? 
Wait, I want to, I don't understand what you're saying. I want to get something right. You want to accept and marry her? Of course not. Come on, just calm down, all right? Like I said, we do not have enough money. Why don't we make it an avenue of making money, like constant money? And then when we achieve enough, we bail. Think about it. Are you seriously asking me that question? What do you mean by that? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the pregnancy. The fact that you're pregnant for someone else. For how long has it been that I've been trying to make love to you and then you come up with different excuses every single time? Oh my goodness. You made your choice. You chose who you wanted to be with. And I have done the same. And she is the one I want to be with. So <laughs> deal with it. You can say that again, baby. Yeah, you were saying something. Yes. So I'm... she told you something and you believed it without hearing my own side of the story. What kind of a man are you? Is that, is that, is that it? Is that it? I'm talking to you. Why did she just back like a dog? Hey, bitch. You are the Rottweiler. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself. Leave my man alone. Stevie. Steven. Yeah. Steven. What's up? What's up? It's fine. <laughs> Oh, gracious Lord. Someone you were talking here. about taking me to paradise. Oh, you remember. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhere that has all the trappings of nature. Exactly. <laughs> what was it again? You are better off without her. Who is there? It's me, Titi. What do you want? I want to clean your room. I don't need it to leave that place now. Ma? I said get out! Okay, ma. She has a little bit of money. I'm not saying too much damage. Have I ever lied to you? Listen, even before she opened the door for me, she made sure it wasn't Chief that was knocking. I think there is something going on between them. Yes. If you say that bit is Chief Peter, that means can they do like that. Eh. Hey. You say Chief Devil think I'm ready. And that must have been verse. Even at that, eh? Chief must apologize to her. So I think that is not it. I'll find out. <coughs> Wale, aka Madam Investigator, at the West Adult, you will see they find out your head will shoot. You get cash you. No one ever come and me. So I don't like persuade the work with no me, so I don't like my job. Don't make me lose this job. Now my highest office is this. No doubt in that place. See okay. him. Calling himself a man. Yet you are scared of your fellow man. Who? Me? Not on me. Yeah. That one of my fellow man. We talk about fellow man. I better get out. No, I don't blame you now. So all this while I was chasing Charlotte around, not knowing that love means in me. I, I can see that both of you love each other. Well, um, you've made a wide decision. As a matter of fact, Nick is my first daughter. And so uh, she's supposed to get married before her sisters. Well, um, you are already blessed with your union. With her. Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. So this is it. So it is true after all. Stephen, you chose her over me. What wrong did I ever do to you? 
How have I wronged you to do this to me? And you, Nikki, you robbed me of my man in broad daylight. You call yourself a father. You know this man belongs to me and you're blessing their union. What is wrong? What wrong have I done to you people in this house? What is this that you're blabbing about? Huh? The young man has chosen the one he wants to spend the rest of his life with. And you are over there having a headache. Why are you such a snitch? Couldn't you have gotten your own man? Enough, Charlotte. Enough. No, don't, 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 don't even, don't, don't even tell me that. Don't tell me that. Charlotte, I'm a man. All right, I can make my own choices. And right now, I have made my choice. Please, you better respect. You cannot do this oh, to me. Oh, you can't do this. Live here, this man. Don't tell me to live here. I swear to God, you both will regret this. Charlotte, ah. use the door. You two will regret this! Oh, get out, loser. Right, I need to get for you. So girls, I have good news. Good news? Good news? Good news. <laughs> good news. <laughs> you know I love good news. So daddy, tell us. Are we going on a vacation? Well, if you want to go on vacation, feel free. Like I said, I am in my best mood. I am going to be a genius. <laughs> I'm willing to grant each of you one wish, right? Whatever thing you wish for yourselves is yours, sincerely. Really, Daddy? Of course. Oh. Um, but you, you, must, you must have to think carefully. You only have but one wish. Mm. Daddy? Sweetest Daddy? Yes. Does it have to be now? Can't we think about it? And get back to you later. She got me. <laughs> of course. <laughs> well, whatever that has to do with my beautiful daughters, I bend the rule. Can I? Thank of you, Daddy. Of course you can. Thank <laughs> you. You are the best father in the whole oh. world. The best, Daddy. We love you. Uh oh. All right. I am asking for one wish. Which is? I want to watch John Cena. I don't want distractors here. Aww, John Cena, it is, Daddy. Too. Someone get the remote and switch to channel. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> I thought you didn't want to come out of your room anymore. Good evening, Chief. Wow. What a surprise. You are even greeting me. I heard you were asking for what everyone wished for. Yes. Is there something you wanted? Of course you know I can do anything for you. The truth is that I've not been myself. I've been so down since I got back from the hospital. Also constrained the fact that the doctor said I can't be able to conceive anymore. Do not worry. I will always love you like that. Whether you were able or not to conceive again. Chief, please, I need my son. I need you to bring him back to me. I want to see him one more time. I have not, I don't have any bond with my child. Please. I just want to feel something again. Please. Please. No, Charlotte. I know that thing about that. Uh, I promise not to reveal myself as his mom. I would make it seem as if I'm, I'm the elder sister. I mean, he would believe that. Please, I beg you. This is the only thing I ask of you. I want to see my son. I want to feel him one more time. 
Remember, you took my child away from me immediately after I delivered him. I haven't set my eyes on him again. I don't even know what he looks like. Please. I mean, that's the only thing you can do for me. Now. Please. Please. Charlotte, that's no no. Please. Please. Hi. I would like you to meet someone. Um, this is Duncan. He's my only son. Duncan? Yes. These are your sisters. Um, where is Titi? I would like her to show him to his room so he can rest before eating. Oh my God. Um, she may... Hi! Welcome! You look good, actually. Thank you. Come here. <laughs> you are welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. Well, like I said, um, Titi needs to show him to his room so he can rest before There's no eating. need for that. I'll, I'll take him to his room. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Wow, you're welcome. So cute. Oh. I know you have a lot of questions, girls, but not yet Uhuru. Why? Why will my father keep such an enormous secret from me? Even if he wants to keep it away from my sisters, that's fine, but not me. I am his first child, and I'm supposed to be his confidant. But there he is, popping up from the blues with a child and saying, that's my son. What nonsense is that? And that witch, that witch with the name Charlotte, that witch was all over the place, all over the boy, gallivanting, just, just, just messing around him as though she knew him from somewhere. What nonsense. How is she though? How is who? Charlotte, how is she? Is everything okay? Are you serious? Ooh. Like right now, are you serious? So I missed all of the things that I said. The only thing that you could pinpoint is Charlotte and asked about her. Are you catching feelings for her? What? Come on, of course not. Why would you say that? It is best you don't, because I am going through too many things, too many things running through my head. The last thing I want to do is fight over your affection. Sorry. Better be. I didn't mean to upset you. Hope you had so much fun. Yes, I did. <laughs> hey, Dad, good evening. Good evening. Uh, myself and Vic Sis went to the games and we had so much fun. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, sounds so nice. Uh, why not go upstairs? I want to have a word with uh, Big Sis. Uh, exactly. You should be here with us. Uh, no, no, no. You need a rest. All right. Straight All right, I'll see you. <laughs> Chief, why are you dragging me like that? What do you think you are doing? What have I done? We don't know. What? 
You are showing so much attachments to Duncan. You and I had an agreement never to let any man know but that I, love his mother. I have not broken the agreement. Well, teach me just too much. But he's my son. He is my son, and sometimes I just can't help it. Ah! You want to hit me? You have to learn how to help. Otherwise, I will take him away from you. No, and no. this time around, you will not get to see him again. You wouldn't do that, please. You wouldn't. You Please, just would I will try to curtail the love and attention I give him, but you know, you know, you know already, you know. Duncan, uh, are you fine? Sir, you want anything else? Hey, Dad. Oh, uh, sir. Uh, could we have a talk? So Dad, um, I would love to ask. Who's my mom? Where is she? Why do you ask? Well, lately, my sisters, especially Nikki, has been acting strange towards me. They ignore me, they say truthful words to me, and all that. They said that our moms had different. I want to ask my mom, family. But, Doc, um, the truth is, you're proud of this family. Your mother died by the birth of the world. She sent you across. That's a fat lie. Your mother is not dead. What? I said that your mother is not dead. She's very much alive. What are you doing? And she loves you so much. Trust me, one of these days, you would get to meet her and bond with her. I asked, what are you doing here? I don't understand. What is that? Why are you doing that? What are you even doing in this living room? I'm watching TV. Look at his mouth. Watching TV. <laughs> is that why you littered everywhere? But Do you think this is a marketplace? I'm sorry, Sister Mirabel. Will you shut up? Who is your sister? Look at this bastard. No, no, no. Do you think this is your father's house that you can walk in and misbehave the way you want? This is my father's house. That said himself. Are you talking back at me? It is nerves for me. I will teach you a lesson you will never forget in your life. Hey! Don't you ever link that filthy hands of yours on that boy. Otherwise, you will live to regret it for the rest of your life. What has he done wrong? Why do you want to hit him? Hey? Yes, sister. What's the problem? I was watching TV and then they came in and they were like asking me 
stuff. And she was yelling at me, basically. Just yelling at you? Yeah. You did nothing? Mm. And why are you yelling at him? Have you gone, have you gone insane? Look at them. Two rejects clinging to each other. Now listen to me, Charlotte. It will be better for you both to go back to where you came from. As long as we live, we will not allow anyone to take what belongs to us. Mm. It's funny. Duncan? Yes, sister. Please come, my dear. Honestly, Mirabelle, if I were you, I would drink water and take a chill pill. You didn't even think twice. You just rushed into claiming your father's property. What property do you think you deserve? Unfortunately, your father just fished out a son from the blues. And alas, he might fish out another one very soon. So you are nothing in this house, bitch. You don't. Hi, darling. Don't worry yourself, okay? Uh -huh. I will take you to my room. I've got so many interesting movies for you to see. Okay. Leave those miserable people. Let them not infect you with their issues. Uh -huh. Come on, let's go. Nonsense. Did she just say that to me? Yes, she did. Did she just say that to me? To us? No, 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 no. It's not yes, it's not, not possible. It's not possible. Yes, she did! Charles! Daddy doesn't care about me anymore. Ever since he brought that boy home, <laughs> he spends more time with him more than he does with me. He says she supports and carries this boy around like their blood relatives. Oh. Is Agatha the boy's mother? That is not possible. Both of you, have you not thought about the fact that the emergence of this boy will make father change his mind towards us? Why? You have said. His will. This house. Our rightful inheritance. I, I haven't given much thought to it. Because the boy is still a teenager. I mean, what will make dad change his mind and will leave everything to him? Because he is a boy. Yes. And if we do not act fast, we stand a chance of losing out on our inheritance or even inheriting anything from father. Sister Nikki, what do you suggest? What do you think we can do? It's not like we can even force daddy to to, to give us anything or will his property to us right now. You know that he has a mind of his own. We should think of a way to chase the boy and make him leave here. Lord, how do we go about this? There's always a way
Mom, I'm tired. I'm tired of this nonsense. I'm tired of being under the control of that wicked evil man you call, you call your husband. I'm tired. What is the problem again? You cannot believe that he gave the security man orders, restricting me from leaving this house. I wanted to live with my son. Which son? What kind of question is that? How many sons do I have? Duncan, my son. You guys took him away from me from childhood. I'm tired of this restriction. I'm tired of you guys not allowing me to bond with my only child. Right from childhood, you took him away from me. And I think it's high time I did the right thing by bonding with my son. And no one can stop me in this time. Yes, I'm going to meet Duncan right now. You're my mom. Oh. Baby! Baby! Listen, you don't have to feel like this, okay? The truth is that I never meant to, to take you away from my sons. It's just that your father never wanted anyone to know about you. And as of then, I was still a child. I was naive, I was handicapped. There was nothing I could do. My hands were literally tied. Please, I truly love you and I want you to understand that all that happened wasn't my fault. You lied to me! You made me call you sister when you were truly my mom. And dad, he kept telling me mama was dead. No, it's not true. Who is my real dad? Oh, your real dad is actually chief. I never lied to you when I said that. How is that even possible? He's meant to be your stepfather. My son. My son. My child. Don't call me that. Is it true? Is she really my mom? I don't have a choice. He just has to know. What do you mean? Excuse you. I'm gonna go out there to tell anyone that cares to listen that the person I usually call sister is actually my mom. No, no I'm, 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 don't do that. And you that call father is her, is her husband. How? The boy's a brother or something. Exactly. <laughs> Poor little boy. <gasps> oh, 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 he will be missed. Even though I think he's in a better place. That's where he belongs. <gasps>
I heard that the boy was Chief's only son. But Chief didn't bond well with the mother. That's why he sent him abroad all these years. Sweet today for just leave the boy there. They just carry and come back here. The innocent boy just die like foul through. Who would have known? And I also heard that Chief said he won't spare him immediately. You see? You heard me. You see what? Do I know? I'm just gonna the walk inside now. I have my 99.5 reference. I suppose the person is gaming now. Well, I don't know everything. I noticed that out of Chief's daughters, it was only Charlotte that was paying. You see, that Charlotte now, that person among all of them. Look at these three of Banjo and Caricom, where they don't say they're so good devil. I'm telling you, those girls are evil. But we do. You should see this boy, I want to see the boy don't die. I don't know, but I'm sure if the woman notices, she will make every possible quest for her to bury her son. Well, <coughs> you don't be waiting, will be. I will go back to my post. Mm. Day. No, I'm I don't tell you finish now. Okay. You won't go back. She said we should leave. Should we leave? Leave! Leave! Leave here now! Leave! Get out of you! Get out! Get, get out! Who is your sweetheart? I am not your sweetheart. Be in your space. Allow me to be mine. Excuse me.
Hello, Helene. Yes, I'm at the spanner. Please come fast. It's getting late. Okay. Okay, please. All right. All right. What is it? What is it? Young man, it's obvious you are high on some drugs. Fifty million naira for what? Please, do not call this line again. <coughs> Dad, is everything all right with you? Well, you start with me. I, that's all. I'm fine. You sounded as though you were having issues with someone over the phone. Oh, um, it's nothing. It's just um, someone calling wrong number. Okay. Well, Dad, have you seen my mother? Because I've not seen her in a while. Do you know her whereabouts? Dad, prepare yourself. I'll be visiting your room soon. What did you say? baby and let me think I need to use my brain what is all this huh did anyone tell you that they are dead no that's the point they could be stuck up in traffic or somewhere and their phone is not just reachable so stop it please let's not just assume things are, and then at the end of the day we're wrong at least until we are proven wrong please stop I need to think. What if that is dead? What is wrong with you? Stop it. Ah. What's really going on? 
Any news yet? Nikki? Hello? Hello, hello? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, I'm, I'm his daughter. Oh, no, 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 not at all, sir. I will not go to the police. Please don't. Please, I beg you in God's name, do not hurt my father, please. Listen, I will. Hello? Goodness, what's that? Hello? What's Hello, sir? What are you Can you tell us what is said? Sister, talk now. What did they say happened to daddy? Her yeah, father. Huh? They said they will kill him if we go to the police. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Come on, my dad. Uh, what, what about my mom? Because I've been looking for my mom. You know, I haven't seen her. I don't know if they also kidnapped her. Please, can you find out if they have my mom as well? Listen to me. Everybody should face their problems. Do not ask me any question. Your mother is your business. So find her yourself. Hey, God. What have we done wrong? Oh, what have we done wrong? Why are all these bad things happening to us? Sister, it for me. What is your problem? What is it? Give me some space. Do you want to swallow me up? Hello? Hello, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, yes, sir. Please. I beg you in God's name, don't hurt my father. Whatever you want, I will give it to you. Yes, yes. Eh? Sir? Sir? Yes, yes, I know the place. Please, I'll bring it to you. Do not hurt my father, please. I beg you in God's name, please. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Ah. Ah. Sister. Ah. Sister, I don't think you should go alone. No. I don't think you should go alone. What's going on? Mm. Um. Is there, you guys are going anywhere? I don't mind going with you to anywhere you want to go. Yes, yes, please. please. Shut, 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 shut up. Shut up. Listen. I need you to get a grip of yourself. Go to the police station. They want the documents to the house. The money. I will give it to them. I will give it to them. But I need you to go to the police station and make an official entry. Just in case they don't keep to the own part of the bargain, okay? So you can have backup. I can't. No, 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 what do you mean you can't? What do I say to them? What do you mean? What is wrong with you? What do you say to who? Your father is missing. What do you mean? What? Nikki. It's okay, you have to calm down, okay? Let's put our differences aside and work as a team to achieve something here. I'm with you in this. Please. You dare touch me. Why not? Why would you touch me? Why would I touch you? Why would you touch me? Yes, 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 yes. Touch me again. Yes, yes, yes. Why are you with you? Shut up! Shut up! What's your problem? Nikki, calm down. Let's do this as one family, as Listen, a team. You have to get a grip of yourself. <laughs> Let me get a grip of yourself. This is not the time to cry like a baby. But she's right. And I know that she's right. You shut your mouth now. You can't she break on your own. She just said she's on my side. Let's do this. Let's do this. Stop getting paranoid. Sister, you can't. Please, please, thank you after her, please. please. Uh, but what, what if she starts fighting me on the road? She won't, I promise you, just go. You sure? You sure?
Baby, please. I never planned any of this. Listen, I, I, I never did. But right now, I can't let my father die. That's why I have to give them everything. The cars, the houses, sold everything. All the money in the account, I've given it to them. I don't want my father to die. Hmm. So in other words, you're saying that you literally have no inheritance. I mean, nothing to your name. Yes. But that's not important right now. After all, that's not what you need, is it? Listen, we do not need anybody's money or wealth to have a bright future. I know that with your hard work and my support, which I promise to always stand by you, we are going to work hard enough, make our own money and build our own castle. Get out of my house. Hmm? Now. Baby, come on, stop, stop, stop it. Listen, we can fix this. We can work something out, all right? Is it that you find it difficult in here in the afternoon or you have cobwebs in your ear? I said, get out of my house. Please, please stop. You know that I'm dealing with a lot right now. I don't want all of these things that you're saying. Come and sit down, let us talk. You really can't complain, right? Baby, come let us talk. I just. I don't I just, want to say this again. Oh. Get out of my house now. How do I even. Get out! Are you nuts? Get out of my house. Can you imagine? Like you, uh, is it all a waste of my time with you? You have nothing to offer, and you want me to understand and manage. Manage what? I want to be the. I want to be with the one that my heart wants, which is Charlotte. Baby, kill you there. It's me or calling baby nonsense. She doesn't have anything. Some people came to take his body and you allowed them? You allowed them? Why? What is... Okay, I'm on my way. Yes. Charlotte. Hello, Charlotte. Yes, listen. I've just been told that you returned to take Duncan's body. Charlotte, please, do not do anything rational. Where are you? What? You mean Dad has been released and is with you too? Oh, Charlotte, just hang in there, please. Do not do anything rational. I am on my way, right away, okay? I'm on my way right now. Everybody,
are we going to? Everyone was here. My father and my t my sisters. Where are they? Where's everyone? Sorry, I lied. Why? It was Duncan's wish. He made me promise on his deathbed not to allow his body go cold in the morgue. He wished to be buried quietly and quickly. Oh. Poor boy. I'm sure wherever his mother is, she should be really sad right now. Allow me pay him my last... No! You don't have to. Charlotte, you will not stop me from paying my last respect to him! He was my brother as much as he was yours! His mother is really sad right now. Hey! Make sure you don't bury her with those ugly umbrellas she calls lashes. Pull them off! Now! In here is the sum of 10 million naira. Use it and establish yourself. Start up something that would help your life. Babe, what should you get this money for? It's not important. What is important is what you're going to do with the money. What do you mean it's not important? This is 10 million naira. Where did you get 10 million naira from? Listen to me, Stephen. It is not a matter of concern. What matters right now is what you're going to do with this money. And I've given it to you to establish yourself. Baby, this is 10 million naira. Your father is still at the kidnapper's den. Are you giving me 10 million? Please make this make sense. Have a nice day. Babe. It works.
Where's my sister? Where is Nikki? Come on. My darling. Please. Stop it already. Everything will be fine, okay? You don't have to worry so much about Nikki. She's probably investigating. You know, and I believe she would come back with a a reasonable result about everything. Okay? What if something bad has happened to her? No. <laughs> nothing will ever happen to her. Nothing. She's a strong woman. You know that. Are you sure? I'm very sure. Very, very sure. <coughs> Please stop crying. Please have a drink. Come on. <coughs> You're not going to... I don't want to see you like this. I also want to use this medium to apologize <laughs> for all the times that we had issues. You know, I'm so sorry. I've come to realize that of all your sisters, you're actually the best. You're a very wonderful person. <laughs> you're a sweet soul. Please forgive me, okay? All right, honey. I just don't want to see you like this anymore. <laughs> just have a drink. Let's do this. Okay, relax. I'll be back. Sent you how much you were paid. Uh, as long as you understand me, I will pay the. Will you keep quiet? So, because you think you have stupid money, you can get anything you want. The news flash. There are some people even more loyal with our money. So, shut that thing you call mouth. What have we done? Who are you? Who sent you? What have we done to deserve this punishment? Uh, the question should be What have you not done? How have you not hurt me? You took away my life. The only thing that I live for. You! <laughs> you really want to know who I am? Yes. Yes. Ah! 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 My daughter. Why? Shut up. You're not worthy to call me your daughter. Just shut up. And you, 
You are nothing but a retarded he goat. Always looking for where to crash of you. Oh You touch on me. You pushed me. And I made a move. Yes. I made a move. You brought out the Jezebel in me. Oh, oh, what is this? What's this show of shame? You were trying to play ignorant with me, right? Babe, how is your mom? Like, what's new? Her faith is sealed. What do you mean her faith is sealed? Come on, babes. I, I really don't understand you these days. It's a ripple effect. How much ransom are they asking for? Look, you can give them the money you brought here, alright? I told you I'm not touching that money until I know the source. At this point, the ransom is beyond money. I don't understand. Stephen, come out and say the bitch. I am the bitch. I am their Kama. It is time for their renunciation, and I'm giving them back to back. Babe, do you by any chance have a hand in what's going on? My story is not what I would wish anyone, not even my enemy. I was a good girl. I was a good girl. Before they brought out the Jezebel in me. Babe. Babe, what's I don't understand. What's, what's, what's this? What's what? Steve. Babe. You were a good man. You know that? You are the best and trust me, you deserve the best. Babe. I wish you good luck in everything you do in life. Live your best life, Stephen. Enjoy it. Babe. As for me, my faith is sealed. But I know one day the world will hear my story. Babe.
Give it. Chief Silas Sumemuji. For my life that you destroyed. For the series of abortions you made me have. For killing my son. My dear son, Duncan! For frustrating me! For all you made me go through! You don't deserve to leave. You don't deserve and I promise you I will give you a painful death just the way you kept on harassing me sexually molesting me frustrating my life I have hold it hold it cut off <laughs> Finish her. <laughs> Why would you commit such a hideous crime? I was never a killer. Never. I was a young, sweet, hard-working girl who had dreams and aspirations, just like everyone on her. I was a wonderful person. Buy your sweet buns, oh. sweet buns. Charlotte is here, oh. sweet buns. Buy your sweet buns here. Yeah. Charlotte, Mamachi, no, you don't want today. The buns is sweet, oh. Buy. Your Excuse me. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, good afternoon. Are your snacks fresh? Yes, yes, sir. They are very sweet. They are very fresh. Okay, no, sir. Okay, sir. Look at it. They are very fresh, sir. Oh, I see. Yes. Oh. Um, How many do you want? Oh, uh, everything. Everything? Yes, just. <laughs> so, so, everything. I'm coming. Don't just take your time, okay? Uh, yeah, you can keep it on the ground. Yes, on the ground. Okay. That's good. So, as a uh, fresh and uh, mm. very sweet. I hope they are all well spent. Uh, just take your time, right? Uh, okay. Uh, it's okay. Uh, all right. Uh, um, I think um, I... Have, uh, yeah, I know uh, that's it for for this. It's not a problem. <laughs> Sir, the money is more than. It's, too much. Uh, it's okay. Just uh, calm down your nerves. Uh, I know what I'm doing. The, the money extra is what you will use. And get something for yourself and look more beautiful. Thank you, sir. Uh, it's Thank okay. You. It's okay. God bless you, sir. Thank uh, you. I really right. appreciate uh, has anyone ever told you that? <laughs> 
that you're beautiful. But that's it. So, fit for you under. Why, why not hop in? So I drop you. No, no, no. This way is too much. Too much. Too much. Yes. Oh, it's okay. Thank yes. you, sir. It's all right. Thank you. Oh, is it this way? No. Thank you. Okay, I shouldn't. <laughs> Hey! Jagam, I got that the enjoyment too. Hey! What I enjoy in this life, eh? Two does not share it. Ah, well. mm -hmm. I love enjoyment. Hey! Mm. Look at yourself, Agatha. Here in Agatha, when go. Call me Agatha the money loving woman. Agatha that loves money. I love money. And I will be eating money till I die. No hindrance. <laughs> look at it now. Eh? Don't I look it? Are you not seeing me? Very beautiful woman. What are you talking about? Hey! Let me enjoy my life, Biko. Wa watumbia. What is this one? Is anybody pushing you? Talot. Hmm? Why did you come back early? Why are you? Why all these smiles? What is the problem now? I said everything. Are you trying to pull my legs or what? Did you dash people? My bones? Not really. A man stopped me and bought everything. <laughs> I don't believe you. You're joking. <laughs> All this money. <laughs> Who gave you all this money? But this money is bigger than the goods I gave to you now. Yes, Mama. A man stopped me and asked me if the bonds were sweet. I said yes, trust me, you made it well. And he asked me to put everything. Hey! Huh? Mama, not only that, too. can you imagine a homey Charlotte? The man asked me to enter his car so that he can drop me home. Trust me, I said no. You did what? You did what? Eh? Mama? Hi! Mama, you are the one that asked me not to, not to follow strangers now. Wicked strangers! Mama, not good ones like this, oh. Not good strangers like this, oh. Where do people see people that dash their money, oh? Kind people are they still alive and they still existing. And you saw one, you don't want to maintain it in one. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Where did you say you saw this man? On the roadside. On the road? Is he still there? Let's go. Let us go. He's not there. 
It's not there. Uh -uh. How? How? Um. Mama, he's not there now. He was driving. He's not there. There's no way he could be there. Go! You better go and look for him. Bring him home. This kind of people are the strangers I like to cook for. This is your for on I want to say I can tell you full food of a vegetable. Did you get what I'm saying? So let me tell you, you have to go back there. Stand there if it means standing till night. You have to stand. That man will surely come back there again. And when you see him, bring him home. He's a good man. Mama, you don't yeah, see yeah, stand up. Stand up. Go, 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 go. Go, go bring that man. Go and bring him. Mama, the man. Go and bring him. Hi. Name. How can I do? Is she not here yet? I... Ah, Mayilo, calm down. She's coming. Okay. Mayilo. Right. Are you sure you're not taking anything? Oh, no, no, no. I'll be fine. I'll be fine when ah, I see her. I money to buy you drinks. I so... know. I know. I know what you're capable of. Ah. I think the first few minutes talking with you, I, I'm already happy with you. Uh -uh. Yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Where is she? Oh, this is the beehive of beauty that no melted my heart. Charlotte. Come here. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, of course. Don't you have manners? Eh? Can't you greet? Uh, Good afternoon. Uh, Good afternoon, uh, my beautiful girl. How are you doing today? Uh, come close. Come, come start here. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, all right. She's, she's the one. <laughs> she's the one? Oh, yes. <laughs> Keep your car now. Keep it down now. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm happy. I'm you happy. Knock it up. Pick it up. You're not keeping it well. Keep it up. Pick it up and keep it down. Well, um, <laughs> come close. It, it, it's okay. She's close enough. Uh, <laughs> yes, she's close enough. <laughs> right. Uh, mm. uh, <laughs> Have you greeted? Yeah, yeah, she did that a long time ago. Okay. <laughs> You're okay now? Yes, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy. Hey. Uh, You're welcome. Okay. Uh, Charlotte, mm. he said he is the man that gave you that money you brought back home the other day. Eh? And he has been trailing you to see you. So he decided to come by himself to this place. <laughs> is he the one? Oh. That's yes, he's the one. How? Oh! But why is he trailing me? You see? Uh, uh, Madam, please, if you, you would see? let me. Please. Uh, beautiful girl. Ever since the day I set my eyes on you, I have been so restless. I, I, as a matter of fact, I've been breathless. Yeah, and I decided to come today um, to your place to make my intentions known. Oh. Uh, and I don't think I have done something wrong. You have that. not, my in law. As it were. Mama, he has done something wrong. What intention, please? He said he wants to marry you. Is it not? Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> Come. Yuma. Shut up. Have I done something wrong? No, Chief. As a matter of fact, she's happy. You know, this is a girl playing hard to get. Oh. Eh? I'm going to talk to her. There's no problem. Oh, I, I, I thought of that. <laughs> Ah, that's fine. Uh, uh, madam, please, I am counting on you, okay? And I know you will not fail. I will not. All right. You know, I'm a busy person. Can you give me your account details? Um, let me do some little transfer for your breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Call. 30. 30. 24. 
Which bank? Stalin Bank. Stalin. I stand. <laughs> so, um, I, I, you will just have to manage Louis. this. Louis. Uh, oh, 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 oh. oh, no, 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 don't do that. Uh, don't, don't. It's nothing. It's for breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> it's okay. Chief, yeah. you can count on me. Right? My name is Agatha, meaning that I can gather anything I want to in life. This is excellent. I don't miss my target. This is excellent. You see, Charlotte, Charlotte is yours. I want to hear that again. Without missing words. <laughs> All right, Chief. I'll this be on my way. Oh, no, no, no. It's something that you have to manage. <laughs> this is capable of taking care of me throughout this week. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> it's nothing. <laughs> Chief, thank you. I'll come back. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is a beginning. Beginning. It takes two to tango, you know. <laughs> you people have tangled and oh, cause it is tangled. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Good to hear this. She's mine. That's what she said. Charlotte! She's mine. Charlotte! Oh hey. my goodness. Hey. Hey. Oh. Hey. I'll come back. Charlotte! Charlotte! Oh. Charlotte, <laughs> Charlotte <laughs> you <laughs> Easy does it. Charlotte, come on. Come and see. Charlotte, come and see. <laughs> Take it easy with her, okay? <laughs> uh, oh, it's all right. <laughs> Mommy, God forbid I will ever belong to that old man. I've forgotten I have a boyfriend. Which nurse's boyfriend are you talking about? Dennis, of course. Ask you, since you have been together with Dennis, has he ever bought you one bottle of mineral? Not to talk of buying you breakfast. Or does he think you eat fand? Mommy is still struggling to get to his feet. Wonderful. He's still struggling to get his feet. Wonderful narration. Then allow him to get to his feet. Chief has found his own feet and have found you too. Charlotte. This is a golden opportunity for you and I don't want you to miss it. See, let me tell you, this is my small life now. Eh? That I'm looking for a way to better my life. And God in heaven sent Chief to our way. Please, I don't want you to miss this. Did you get what I'm saying? I want to sound it in your ear. Hold your ear, let me talk. Hold your ear! Let me say what I'm saying. You must marry Chief. Period. Then marry him. Because I will never marry him. I'm walking away. Ah! Anamo. Oh. 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 This guy has killed me. No problem. It's okay. You will come back and meet me. That's no problem. Hey. Look at my leg. Listen, I am tired of waiting. What is all this delay for? You told me that you would talk your daughter into accepting my proposal. What, 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 what is this? This is more than a week now and nothing is happening. I am losing my patience. Hi, Chief. Please, I'm very sorry. I know you're angry, but please calm down. Huh? The only problem we have here is one stupid boy that she is dating. What? Yes. That's the only person confusing my daughter. And who is that idiot that is confusing her? Uh -huh. 
That is where the problem happens. He said his name is Dennis. A mechanic. An apprentice for that matter. Dennis. That is the idiot that is confusing my daughter. Eh? He <laughs> said his hmm. name is Dennis. I don't know what my daughter saw in that boy. That is what I'm trying to know. What she saw in that boy. Eh? Dennis. Dennis, oh. I see. I see. Dennis. Dennis. What is it? <laughs> Will you kill yourself? Yeah? Stop crying. <laughs> it's okay now. The God that took him will bring another person. Yeah? Death, they say, is inevitable. God took it and God gave it. So stop crying. You are very, 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 very important to me. I don't want to do this Chief. I thought with the boy dead, she will have a change of heart. But it seems that her resolve is even more stronger now. That girl is stubborn. So, you are saying that I should give up? Well, Ah, it's as easy as ABCD. I know I have um, spent roughly 300000 on you and your daughter. I need a refund now. Ah. So I will just walk up to my car, write down the details of my account, then you forward. Ah. Chief, hey, it has not gotten to that point, my chief. <laughs> Hey, Chief, Chief. <laughs> hey, who now? <laughs> hey. I have a plan. And what is that? I think I like the sound of that. Oh. <laughs> Getting two for the price of one, right? <laughs> Very impressive. <laughs> impressive. Hey. So what about um, 15,000 Naira for the charge card? 15 That's what. 15 or 50? I said 15,000. <laughs> for impressing me so much, I'll give you that. <laughs> ah. Cheap, cheap. Ah. <laughs> Oh. 
I, I know it should be more than 15,000 just for, for this great hey! news. Oh, no, easy, easy. <laughs> easy does it. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, this money should I, I'll call you on phone, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, come <laughs> I should be on my way. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Thank you. Buy your sweet bottle. 
I'm very noisy. No, I'm filled up. Mm. Okay. There is something I would like to tell you. What could that be? <laughs> Uh, I want to let you know that you shouldn't worry getting married to Chief Ike. I'm serious. I'm serious. Really? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but mom, what made me what made him change his mind? I am the one getting married to him instead. <laughs> Is that not nice? What? I just want you to understand simply something. No fighting. You're mine. And mine forever. It's okay. Are you crying? Is it painful? Oh, don't worry. With time, you will get used to it. Okay? Stop, stop. Don't worry, I will get something that will ease off your pain. Okay? Okay, my love. Ah. It's okay now. Yeah? A journey of a thousand miles starts with a step. You've just entered into wonderful womanhood. It's okay. Oh. Chief just gave us 500,000 naira. Hey! This is your own. Use this money and take care of yourself, okay? It's about money. 
Seven money. We can't go hungry. Yeah? Oh yeah, take it. Help yourself. Get up and go and take your bath. Get up. Sweetheart. Anyway, I'm coming, okay? Uh, Chief! 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 Take it easy. Be breathing in and breathing out. Be doing like this. Sorry. Sorry. Easy. My hand is there already. It's okay. Take it easy. Take it easy. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Be It's okay. You have to take care of this. I've already seen someone who is already waiting at the hospital for her safe delivery. No choice. Okay, let's go. I'm being truthful to you. I don't regret everything I've done. Not in one bit. At least, I'm at peace with myself now. For the only thing I wish for is not to die and go to hell. Because when I die, I would love to be in heaven with my, my joy, my son, the love of my life. That is all I wish for. Well, your story is indeed a touching story. But then, the law must take its full course. <laughs> By the way, what did you do with the house document of all the money to me? What do you think? <laughs> 